What's going on guys? Welcome back to Icono Classic. In this video, I'm going to be setting up my um, thermostat housing without the thermostat in it in order to get the entire coolant system connected up, fill it with fluid and flush it out. All right, let's get to it. Down there is where the thermostat housing bolts up to. And then a hose goes from here into there. And then a larger hose, the radiator hose goes from the, the thermostat housing to the radiator itself. So that's how it was gonna connect up. And uh, let's, let's put that together. Okay, here I have my uh, thermostat housing. I'm gonna assemble it now. I have my thermostat housing, it goes on the engine block like this. If I'm on the driver's side of the car, I'm gonna place my gasket down at the top. This big hole goes to the radiator hose that goes to the radiator at the front of the car. So that's gonna front face forward. I got my new nice bolts. I'm gonna start that by hand a little bit. Got my other bolt, gonna start that by hand. And uh, get that started. And um got my ratchet. Ratchety wrenchety wrench wrench. Oh yeah, uh, that doesn't help. It's going the wrong way. Hardy har har. <laughs> so I'm I'm doing this when I do this for reals. I'm gonna be using a. Uh, what's happening? I'm gonna use RTV, a gasket making material, gasket sealing material. It's just like, you know, it's goo, sometimes it's black, sometimes it's orange, sometimes it's blue. You know, I don't know what, but, uh, is it blue? Sometimes, maybe. But, um, I'm not doing that yet because I haven't put the thermostat, thermostat in that goes in here. So, I'm, I'm doing this just to test it. So, to, to flush out the system, then I'll put this in. This at a certain, if you like put this in a pot of water and then boil the water to start turning the heat up, you know, you'll see the spring is really cool. The spring uh, contracts and air expands as, you know, the temperature changes. And so it'll let in fluid, it'll open up and let it let fluid through once the engine gets to a certain temperature. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, back to this. Hey, Shag. Let's say hi to the. All right, so that's that's that. Now I'm gonna bolt this on, and it'll be good. Okay, so it turned out actually I was uh, tightening the bolts, and it wasn't one of them wasn't going all the way down, and I started cleaning it out. I thought maybe there was dirt or something down in the threads cleaned it out with um you know a piece of metal um you can use a pick you can use a i used actually an allen wrench a really fine allen wrench um and got the dirt out and a lot of dirt came out and then i found something squishy on the bottom and there was actually gasket making material from the last time uh someone you know put this on replaced the water the uh the thermostat so when you go to apply it i mean we'll show you how in a later video but they put way too much on you don't want to put too much it's a thin schmear the guy put too much on and it ended up you know down in the hole too um and so i wasn't able to crank it all the way down so i got that out so able to use the pick to get it out allen wrench and it's out so now it's tight all right okay here's my uh thermostat housing all put together here's my gasket that goes here there's the hole bolt it up you know what to do i don't need to film it all right, so in case you had trouble, I actually, um, you had to remove the um, distributor cap to make, to you know, get on that bolt. With this, you know, you could use a wrench, um, whatever, like an open-ended wrench, but that's easier and faster. So yeah, just remove that. Don't mess with that. Just keep that where it is. You know, don't move anything. Don't touch anything. Um, get that down there. I'm going to have to find an extension to get on that one. So yeah, I guess it's not as easy as... as whatever but it's easy so cool 
So I think the all the adapters are, I mean, all the extensions are at the shop, but so I got two adapters here. So that should be enough to get on this. Yeah, right on. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. So yeah, need two hands, but that's the idea. Now I have the housing secured to bolt it up to the head. And I need to hook up the hoses. Hose go this goes goes to the radiator. Next hose goes down to the carburetor. Let's get that done. All right, here I got the carburetor hooked up to the thermostat housing. Um, I used this crazy long piece of tubing. I first I tried to go, you know, just straight there with a shorter piece. Um, the angle is too, it's it's too acute. Um, it's too tight, and the hose was kinking. So um, what I'm going to do is use this for now. Um, took a wide sweeping turn. Um, so there's no kinks and I will, uh, you know, fabricate some tubing, uh, you know, brace together some tubing. And so I'll have like a rubber here and rubber there. And then I'll have a piece of metal that I'm going to brace together. But for now, this is fine. I'm assuming that, you know, on the 1972s, they had some kind of special hose that, you know, bent up and around that was already molded to do that. Um, so i don't have that and not gonna have that i might be able to actually find that i haven't looked but um otherwise i'll just you know brace together something and uh we're ready to fill it up make sure you put your drain plug back in remember that's down in here if you saw my other video underneath the exhaust manifold make sure everything's you know tight and situated properly and you're ready to fill up the radiator and with that that's a wrap